and I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be making an Edwardian blouse but goth. So my favorite era of fashion is about the turn of last century. So I'm talking about between 1880s up to 19 teens. Not crazy about the 20s, not crazy about the 30s. You know, 40s is okay. It's starting to get into that silhouette that I really like of narrow waist, big poof. But you know what also has narrow waist and big poof? The turn of the last century and the chicken breast. I love the chicken breast look. It's particularly popular by the Gibson girls, which is like the Edwardian version of a pinup girl. And I love that style so much. You know what style I also really like that I don't do very often is I really enjoy the dark side. I love that romantic witch vibes, everything. It's delicious. So I decided I want to marry those two styles of Edwardian, early 20th century Edwardian with romantic goth style, lots of dark velvets and black lace. And to accomplish that, I get to use one of my favorite patterns from one of my favorite pattern making companies. And that's this Folkwear Gibson Girl Blouse Pattern 205. I absolutely love Folkwear. I love their styles, but I particularly like their Edwardian and Victorian era patterns. I've already made this blouse, but I made it in stark white, which I also really like white because it's a nice clean look, although I am an absolute slob, so it's hard to keep this kind of stuff clean and I don't actually get to wear it as much as I would like to because of that. So I think with a black blouse, I would be more inclined to wear it. And for the materials, I got this black lawn fabric. It's not very opaque, it's very translucent, but I think that will make it a very breathable material. Right now, the white one is made of a thicker cotton, so it does get actually really hot, even though it has all these cutouts of lace. Because I am a pack rat and I love bits and bobs and I cannot say no when I come across miscellaneous trims, I'm going to probably go as close as I can to the pattern itself, but I'm probably going to make a lot of adjustments as far as adding more insertion lace and bobbly boops and stuff. And with that, I think I have everything I need, so let us begin. Because I prepared this time, I pre-cut all the fabric pieces and stored them in this drawer. It's definitely not that I had started this project two years ago, worked on the white one first, got mentally overwhelmed with it, and decided not to do the black one and just stored it in this drawer for two years. Because I was indecisive about which ribbons I wanted to use for this project, I just decided to grab everything from my black lace bin. I eventually settled on an insertion lace and a wide scalloped lace along with a lace applique that I've been saving for <coughs> two years for no reason. To keep things simple, I worked on these in pieces starting with the bib which had several rows of pin tucks and insertion lace. The back portion only had two layers of insertion lace. I also did the front part but did not film it my bad. And then the sides only had two rows of insertion lace. The sleeves are the more complicated part. I did make them longer than the pattern allotted for. I also decided after putting in the insertion lace and gathering them into a waistband, put a black scalloped lace along the said waistband, I meant arm sleeve band. Top, bottom, sleeves, collar. With these pieces combined, I am blouse. After everything is constructed, I do add the black lace applique that I've been holding on to, and now it is perfect and ready to be revealed.
There you have it. My Gothic Edwardian blouse is complete. It is perfect for the morning season and it makes me feel a bit witchy. I love this blouse. I want more versions of it in different colors and I like it's just something about putting together lace and pentax in this gorgeous applique. It just look mm, chef's kiss. I absolutely love this look. I love this style. It's got the big poofy sleeves which I love and I always of course have to add the big cuffs to it. It's just something about it screams elegant woman walking through the graveyard at midnight. Don't need no man. And of course this look would not be complete without a black cat. So, which is why I got one. Yes, he's such a cutie. He's just getting into everything. Oh, there's a string. You found my hidden string. Oh. As far as things I would do differently, nothing. I think the only thing, <laughs> I think the only thing I would do differently is I'd probably add, I got some velvet ribbon that I wanted to put along here, but there's always another project that I could use that for. And I think all I need now is a really pretty linen skirt to go with it, like a high-waisted skirt. Definitely going to put that on my list of things to make. And then I'll have my whole gothic morning outfit. I'm just so happy because now my inner goth has got an outlet. And with that, well, that's it for January. I can't believe it's already almost over. And next month is the month of love and I've got plenty of ideas and projects on the works. I cannot wait to show you. So until next time, you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>